Don't punch me. Mike, help me! Mike, you're fired! Sacha Baron Cohen and Rudy Giuliani became enemies after Cohen released Borat's subsequent MOVA film on October 23. From? She's 15. She's too old for you. In the film, Giuliani is caught in a compromising position with Cohen's alter ego Borat's daughter, which has drawn a ton of media attention. The Jews repeated their attack of 9-11. Recently, Donald Trump weighed in on the situation, calling Cohen phony and a creep. However, Trump himself was pranked by Cohen over 15 years ago on Da Ali G show. About, and I'll be a fool if very quickly. What is the most popular thing in the world? Music. Rudy Giuliani is facing scrutiny for a controversial Borat 2 scene. Giuliani has been under fire recently for his appearance in Borat's subsequent movie film. In the movie, he's seen laying on a bed while Maria Bakalova who plays Cohen's 15-year-old daughter undoes his pants after an interview. Although the scene captures Giuliani in an awkward position, he claims he did nothing wrong. I had to take off the electronic equipment Giuliani said on The Curtis and Juliet show. And when the electronic equipment came off, some of it was in the back and my shirt came a little out, although my clothes were entirely on. I leaned back and I tucked my shirt in, and at that point, they have this picture they take which looks doctored, but in any event, I'm tucking my shirt in. I assure you that's all I was doing. Giuliani then slammed Cohen on Twitter, claiming the footage was being used to discredit his accusations against Joe Biden and his family. The Borat video is a complete fabrication Giuliani tweeted. At no time before, during, or after the interview was I ever inappropriate. If Sacha Baron Cohen implies otherwise he is a stone-cold liar. Donald Trump called Sacha Baron Cohen's phony. But I hear uh, McDonald Trump, he uh, cage uh, Mexican well, children. Yes, yeah, high five. Yeah. As the scene made its rounds on the internet, dozens of media outlets began to speculate on Giuliani's actions. It's actually on the Michael Penis! Michael Penis! I brought the girl for you! Eventually, the conversation made its way to the White House, where President Trump was asked about the, the scene. The more people you bring in, the more germs come in, you cannot do that. Voice of America's White House Bureau Chief Steve Herman claims Trump criticized Cohen during a recent press briefing, according to Vulture. I don't know what happened. But years ago, you know, he tried to scam me, and I was the only one who said no way. That's a phony guy and I don't find him funny. Okay, well, it sounds like a good idea and I hope you make a lot of money. Good luck, folks. It's been nice seeing you. You take care of yourself. He's a creep. The scam Trump referred to as a prank Cohen pulled on Trump in 2003 while filming his hit series, Da Ali G Show. During the prank, he asks Trump to invest $50 million into his business idea, which was a glove that prevents ice cream from dripping onto clothing while being eaten. Sacha Baron Cohen and Donald Trump are in a war of words. After Trump called him a phony and a creep Cohen blasted him on Twitter, calling him a racist buffoon and thanking him for the free publicity. Cohen then claimed during an interview on The Late Show that despite Trump's recent remarks, he knows he had the president fooled. Well, I'm sure when he was hanging out with his good friend Jeffrey Epstein, they probably spent a lot of their time talking about how creepy I am Cohen fired back. And yes, I am a professional phony like him. And I interviewed the president many years ago. Publicly, he will say well I was the guy the only guy ever who saw through it. He didn't see through the interview, I mean he answered all of the questions completely normally, so he was in it for a long time, it was only really when I was asking him for money. I was asking for like 50 million dollars from him. It drips. Okay. So me idea is what? Yeah, to make a drip proof ice cream. No. Oh, that's the fucking... At that point he said you know, he quite rightly was not interested, and you know, made his excuses and left. Well, me idea is to come out with just like these ice cream gloves that make the ice cream not go on your hands and make it all well sticky, and also keep your hands warm. Okay. But he completely believed that Ali G was real. Hopefully, things between Cohen and President Trump will cool off soon, but until then, Borat's subsequent Movafilm can be streamed on Amazon Prime. Hope you liked that video and if you haven't subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and we will see you in the next video.